One of the fun things that you can do in everyday life is to develop a technique that I call the love detector. And here's how it works. In everyday life, we are constantly mirroring with our facial expressions, with our body language, even with our breathing and our heart rates, people who we like. And the more that we feel like we really understand somebody, we're really connecting with them, we're really clicking with them, the more likely we are to physically mirror what they're doing. So if you're sitting across from somebody, you're having a meeting, you're having a first date, and you notice that you both have your head kind of tilted to the same side, or maybe you're both leaning into the table with your head on hand like this, and you haven't done it on purpose, but you notice just in that instant, wait, we're really, we're sitting the same way, and oftentimes in my own experience, it'll be really strange positions. You're leaning back with one arm out here, and you're like, whoa, how did we get into this position? Well, the way it happened is you are both feeling connected. You feel like you are clicking. And so because of that, you're physically starting to mirror each other. Some people would advise you to do this intentionally to kind of trick the other person into thinking that, wow, we're really getting on. Look, I mean, they won't consciously know it, but their brain will perceive it. I think that's kind of creepy and really awkward. So instead of using this knowledge to, I don't know, maybe manipulate people into thinking that you're bonding. Just use it as a love detector. Happen to notice in everyday life when you're physically mirroring people, and that's just a signal to you, it's a clue to you. Hey, here's somebody that I've really connected with at a very deep level. This is somebody who would be a great ally, a great collaborator, somebody that I should definitely spend more time connecting with in the future. Mm -hmm.